Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of ARK Survival Evolved. Today, as you can see, we are showcasing the new Dire Bear Caves on the center map. Now, I think most YouTubers don't seem to know that this has happened because it dropped with update 247 which gave us the Tapajara and the night vision goggles not to mention scorched earth which i have been focusing on myself a lot so this is where one of these caves is located there are apparently 13 of them and that's quite a lot i have only been able to find a small handful and the ones i have found are more interesting than just this small slightly not so interesting one now unfortunately this isn't the best example i just thought this was funny because there were so many bears in here there's like what like 10 no nah, come on there's probably more like seven seven bears in one little cave like that you don't want to go stumbling upon that accidentally so that is located right over here now th this this is where things really get interesting they are calling these mini caves and when i first saw that that first cave i thought to myself that's not a mini cave i mean it's a bit too mini it's not even a mini cave it's more like an an outcropping of rock, an alcove, a small hole in the ground. But this, this one, right, this is a mini cave. And I want to show you the land route because it's pretty tough to reach. You've got to go up this big ramp right here. But once you get in, you're going to go down this little path, take a hard left right there, keep going, and boom. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is basically ruins and it's underground. There's metal nodes here. It is still a dire bear cave. But look at it, it's it's lovely. There's like fires, all kinds of things going on. I'll leave a little bit for you to explore yourself. But it's just really nice. It's a pleasant little cave. Uh, obviously, these things are pretty hard to find. And I've searched for a good hour or two for these things and was only able to find, like I said, the ones you can see. This is the last one and I got fed up of looking there. I mean, look at this. It's hidden behind a rock. How am I supposed to find that from the other side? It's crazy. So keep looking for those. Another thing that dropped with this update was a massive addition to the end of the world. So we've got these islands now, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. But underneath, there's now this. Some kind of huge crystal ice palace. We're going to zoom in on it. It's going to take a little minute because I wanted to show you that rhino falling from the sky. But what's really special about this is this colossal ice palace. I mean, just look at that. It's pretty amazing. Now, dipping inside, you can see there's a little river running through it. I don't know if you get the cold temperatures here. I suspect you might because there are more penguins. So you, that's another good thing too. You've got another source of organic polymer. And there are a lot of penguins here. So you'll never run short of that anymore on the center map. If I had to say, I'd say this is pretty big. I don't think even an alpha tribe could dominate this successfully especially if it's cold here. I mean, you've got metal nodes and polymer. That's going to be a really good resource for, for you PvP players. And for you PvE players, I'd really like to see somebody build on this. Uh, I recently did a build myself where I reimagined some of the ruins in Scorched Earth as a city, and I would like uh, someone else to maybe give this a go on, on this. And I think it'd be really good if somebody else might give it a go, trying to make something out of these ruins. But I'll let you use your imagination. It's not just the ruins, there are caves, and it's unclear whether this is meant to be ice or crystal, as you can see crystals dotted around, but it doesn't detract at all from how beautiful it is. It is really quite amazing. And obviously the penguins everywhere, little nooks and crannies. I think I did cover just about everything in this new little addition to the centre map. Except for that lovely pool. It looks nice, like you'd want to go and swim in it. It's so crystal clear, but I bet it's really cold. Uh, anyway, guys, there's this huge, massive new area to the centre map, which is not to be admonished. I've heard people on Reddit refer to this as scraps. This is not scraps. This is really good content. Another thing that I feel has slightly gone overlooked is... The, the additions to the ed end of the world now, so it's not just a sheer waterfall everywhere. There are these interesting uh, little sort of, what I don't know what this is called, like a sub-waterfall, <laughs> an outcropping of land. Now, one thing that went overlooked in the previous patch before this one was a huge cave, and I have had an explorer of it previously. This is where it is. You might remember this this tunnel located near the river. There's a tunnel right here. It's pretty recognisable. They've added this this little door. And now if you go through this little door, down and down and down into the caves, you come across this. Some more ruins, some more fires, eternal fires. And 
straight away I got lost. It's really easy to get lost in here. These are huge, expansive new ruins. I mean, look at this. This is unlike anything ever seen before in Ark. A huge crystal cave. Everything composed of crystal. It's gorgeous. The colour tone. Everything has been done right there. So congratulations to the devs. Here, this is more like a typical cave. But the thing that's not typical about it is that it does lead straight to the centre itself. Which is really cool. I didn't even know this was here. Now, if this has been here the whole time and I've just never noticed it, please let me know. Another thing I like about these caves is that you just see something. You think, can I go up there? You can. You follow the stream up and suddenly you're in a different type of cave altogether with these strange new red orbs that are popping up and loading in as I'm flying around. But they look amazing. I have no idea what they're meant to be. Presumably, this is going to be... What, the, the broodmother's den in the centre? Is that what they're working towards here? Interestingly, it does have this giant monkey statue sort of freshly hewn, or, or is it perhaps really old? Like, they got started and were interrupted? Who knows? Anyway, I thought that was really cool. An, an int introduction into the canon of Ark, into the storyline that we're going to see be implemented very soon into the game. <laughs> Lots more red things. <laughs> I did actually want to take a moment, guys. If you're still watching this video, I want to say a massive thank you because it means a lot to me if you watch all of the video. There's a cool little loot crate by here, by the way. But the, the thing is, today, it's it's my it's my birthday is what I'm trying to say today. It's the 17th of September, the day I'm releasing this video. It's my birthday. So if you're still here, thank you. That's a massive birthday present to me that you've just been watching the video for this long and are still interested in what I've got to say about this, this new update to the center map and everything else. So thank you for sticking around. And that's it. Like I said, it's a kind birthday present to me from you. So thumbs up for that. Thank you so much. All right. So continuing with my commentary, it's actually nearly over. I'm straight up lost at this point in the cave. I have no idea where I'm going, but I did find this weird magma pool and I've been here before. But I, like I said, I couldn't I couldn't remember how to find it. I don't know where it was. It's this is l a lot like some of the stuff you see in Scorched Earth, except I've not found any lava in Scorched Earth yet. Uh, there's a difficult to get to area here with nothing in it, so I'm guessing this isn't quite finished, but has been released, and it, it's really cool, guys. I mean, if this had come out before Scorched Earth and people... This came out before Scorched Earth, but it didn't get that much hype, I presume because people were, were tiring a little bit of Ark, which is really unfortunate. But just look at it. Look how much the devs have got to give. There's a lot going on here. Now, I got lost, so I thought I'd just take a shortcut straight up through the roof because I just didn't... I plum didn't know where on earth I was going. So I was like, all right, we're going up. And that led me right up above the ground right here. So, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do consider subscribing. Let me know what you think of this map in the comments below. And hit the like button if you enjoyed watching the video today. Hopefully, I will see you next time. And take it easy.